didn't take the picture well, somehow. I literally took the picture the moment it had all the stuff. Nature photography. Can you even tell this is a white crow? It could easily pass for a dove or a seagull. Oh well. Let's just get this over to Hinamoto-san for now. How do I get down? Oh, it's, this is that roof. Well. Let's try and get back there without running into Kase and stuff like that. So last time I talked about, like, you know, stuff that me and Zack can do and, you know, things like that. And I think I was practically really done with that anyway. There's not much else to really talk about. As for things for me to talk about, you know, like games I'm playing here, uh, I think I'm getting closer to the end of Callisto Protocol. I think I only have, like, three, four more chapters to go through for the game. Whoa, whoa, who's hurting me? Like, who's really hurting me? Okay, this cone isn't gonna do anything. After I finish Callisto Protocol, um, I think I might just go to, a, to Devil May Cry 4 or something, because I can't go and start... I don't... I can't start Sonic Frontiers until much later down the line when its other updates are in. So Devil May Cry 4 is one of the things I can do. Or I could just wait for certain times to do the Sunrun Kagura game I gotta do, Burst Renewal, or the uh, first Occupy Strip game. Which I recently looked into that. I thought I remember saying a long time ago that the characters when you, you know, strip them, Out of the way. um, would just turn into, like, a green, blue, or pink color, but apparently not, so I kind of can't play that with anybody around. So Devil May Cry 4 is most likely going to be the next uh, single-player game that I'll start up. I mean, I've kind of already started it, so I guess I mostly mean continue. Or, I don't know, I may be wrong. I can look through my games again and see what I have. I only need one more drink here. This is one more drink, and then we're done with all that. I have, will have eaten everything in the game, or mostly everything in the game, you know, until you have to get more friend events finished. But yeah, I'll just have to look through my games again to see what I gotta do. Some games have been left behind and could be finished, or, you know, there are just some things I probably have and don't remember. Why am I talking to you? Hey. <clears throat> Yamato-san, I brought you the picture you asked for. Whoa, you actually found the dang bird. Let's see. <laughs> this will make headlines for sure. Way to go, Yagami-san. Hmm. But can you actually tell it's a white crow? Nope. The fact that we don't know for sure is what makes it so great. That's how curiosity is born. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Think about it. We're talking about a rare white crow that showed us to make it past infancy, here in the middle of Tokyo. Having only been confirmed in eyewitness accounts and vague photographs, it's something of a local phenomenon. Uh. Oh, I get it. Kind of like Nessie, N Nessie or Bigfoot. Oh. Exactly! Whenever there's unsolved mysteries, people get swept up in the adventure. A solitary white crow cuts through the white night sky, high above a city where outcasts gather. Fact or fiction? You decide. Ah, when you put it like that, I do kind of get a sense of adventure. <laughs> right, with so much negativity on the news these days, the world needs that sort of thing. Spread some hope, you know. 
Well, I'll be damned. So you're not just chasing scandal after scandal. This might actually cheer people up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did, I did this on a whim. I'm probably better off chasing celebrities anyway. Here, take this as your payment for today. Thanks. I'll need it after buying all these drinks. Thank you for getting all these amazing photos. We should work together again whenever we get the chance. Yeah. Definitely. This has been working out pretty well for the both of us. <laughs> <laughs> so it seems. Two professionals cast by the profession that made them. What are the odds, hmm? Cast out. In some poetic way, we're... We're the white crows of our careers. Though not quite as rare. <laughs> Guess that's the way it goes. Yeah, well then, hope to see you around. I hope my drink level went down. Damn it. Just gotta get into one quick battle is all. I, when I'm sitting here right now, I don't really know any other games like a star that would be faster. I know for one, I have uh, Shadow of War. Yeah, I have Shadow of War. Um, you know, I could be doing that. Guess we're doing this. But it's like I don't know if I want to because I know that one's gonna take a very long time to do, and it's got a much bigger system than the last one did. But like. If I start Devil May Cry 4, I've said this multiple times, I will have to replay the game five times afterward for, for every other character and difficulty. Just so I can get some trophies and stuff like that. While Devil May Cry 3, I should have been doing playing it at least two more times, or at least one more time. But that didn't happen because my save got corrupted. And I love Devil May Cry 3. Devil May Cry 3 is one of my favorite Devil May Cry's. Well, probably when I get back to Devil May Cry 4, I'll be able to tell that better. Because I did enjoy the small amount I played. But again, like I always said, I'll just have to check. When I edit tonight, um, during the time the first video is rendering, I'll probably go and grab some food and then look through my games and see what I got. You asked for it. But if it gets the... I mean, I'm gonna play everything I can before I have to play a game that is still going to be updated with stuff. So that would even mean I would probably play Yakuza 5 before even touching Sonic Frontiers yet. Who knows? My birthday can come around and things could be different. But you never really know. I, I'm always making plans, man. I'm always making plans. The plans never stop. Oh, Keisei and Honda move? Well, actually, no, Keisei is the only one who moved. Honda's still in the same place. Hmm. Okay, well, anyway. We completed every store, and we have 2,000 SP. See, I don't know what's even in for... <sighs> I don't know if I want this. I don't know what's after it. Because I'm saving up right now for the stronger attacks and stuff like that. I think I'm gonna get this one. Make that just a tiny bit easier, because apparently I just failed the last one. Mmm. I mean, this will shave off just a few seconds. I don't want to do this. Because that's a lot that could be saved. I don't need anything for tailing. Okay, yeah. So my next most likely skill is going to be combo uh, speed booster. Really? 
Camera will go for a second. Ugh. Hmm. Where's the battle ones? Oh, here it is. Okay. A hundred more enemies need to be beaten down with weapons. And just about a couple more enemies need to be defeated with Tiger, then I'm gonna swap back to Crane for a while. I need to do more wall moves. Alright, back to the main story for a while. You must be making a killing with the state this city's in. Ain't that right, Ayabe? And it's all thanks to you. Do you know anything about the Matsugane shooting last night? Not too much, no. But hey, I thought you got Higashi for all your Matsugane needs now. Word travels fast. Who told you that? Kaito. Just now. Huh? You forget how to keep a secret, Kaito-san? Or are you trying to get your buddy killed? Higashi's screwed if Hamura finds out he's been helping us. Look, man. There's no point keeping stuff from Ayabe. Better to just tell him up front than have him find out somewhere else. What can I say? I'm a professional. Sure. Professional snitch. If the shoe fits. But sorry. I really don't have much for you today. Say what? You telling me I bought you a drink for nothing? What? Are times too tough to buy around? Here. Let me at least repay you for the booze. Go on. <laughs> Did you know Hamura's in hiding? He's been out of the office ever since last night. Not even the cops can find the guy. Yeah, Higashi told us as much, actually. You charging us for this old news? I'm starting to wonder here. Okay, okay, fine. You want answers? Go ahead and ask. Everything's on the house for tonight. I'd rather talk business than sit here in silence anyway. Sounds good to me. Let me think. Oh boy, can't get to get this wrong and not get any SP. Why are the Kyori and Kamurocho to begin with? What's a Kansai group doing this far from home? Because they want a turf in Tokyo. Duh. Even if it meant war with the Tojo? They couldn't have the numbers for that. True. Compared to the Tojo's 25,000, Kyore have a meager thousand at most. Plus, Kamurocho is not exactly their home turf. And by that logic, they don't stand a chance. And yet they've been here almost two years now. Crazy when you think about it. Even the cops put money on the Tojo clan, crushing them into dust. So, what's the holdup then? The Kyore has the backing of the Kajuhiro group. In other words, a lot of fucking money. Kajuhiro? Isn't he a construction bigwig? Yep. And one of his subsidiaries is the perfect Kyore cover. I suppose you'd know it better as KJ Art. Yeah, we're familiar. Makes sense. They never have made iron inroads in Kamurocho without some big-time financial backing. What does Kajihira have to do with the Kyore? Why is he funding Yakuza? Probably so he can expand east out of Kansai. The real money is out here anyway. From what I hear, he's got some big redevelopment plans for Tokyo. What kind of plans are we talking? Not a clue. But if they're coming from Kansai to do it, shit's gotta be important. And there's always dirty work with those kind of jobs, you know? Like what? Evictions, land sharks, laying the political groundwork. The Kyore is handling all that shit for Kajihira. At least, that's the word on the street. Yeah, thanks. 
These rumors of yours are going to do us a ton of good. Well, what I know for sure is that the Kajihira CEO's been up in Tokyo a lot lately. Schmoozing with politicians, government officials, even Kazumi, the head of the Ministry of Health. Why would a construction guy be talking to someone from the health ministry? What's the connection? Beats me. Point is, the Kyore aren't here just for Yakuza shit. It's way more complicated than that. How are things in the Matsugane family? Well, you already know about the shooting. Their hands are tied while the cops are running the show. So, yeah, they've been pretty quiet. How's Kamurocho seem to you lately? Fifteen? Tense. Oh, that's not even worth it anyway. only made things worse. Nobody knows when the next fight will break out, or where a stray bullet might end up. Right. And our killer's only gone for Yakuza so far, but he could target anyone next. Gunfights? A murderer on the loose? This city's a mess. <laughs> you got that right. By the way, Amura might have walked, but the cops are still pretty fixated on this mole case. Even the public's wondering who will be next. Huh. Just wondering, how does it feel when people call you a dirty cop? Eh, anyone who knows that side of me ain't exactly a saint either, you know? Good point. That's the pot calling the kettle black, or the kettle calling the pot black, whatever. <laughs> yeah, guess so. Alright, I gotta go. Alrighty. You're a busy boy. Yeah. Kaito-san? Huh? Yagami and Kaito, yes. What an honor. Tokyo Police. The name's Kuroiwa. Are you the mole? Kuroiwa. The one who almost put Hamra behind bars before you two pulled him out of my grasp. See, that's how he does it. He's the mole. You see, he he tried to get Hamra behind bars so he wouldn't have any more. He wouldn't have anyone else. He's trying to put his accomplices behind bars so there's no, you know, stain on him. That didn't work out. <laughs> so what? I've become a department punchline now. I have you to thank. Hmm, you're very welcome. And I see you're here too, <laughs> Ayabe. Oh, Kuroiwa-san. Nice nights. It's great to see you. Yeah. I cut out of work to grab a few drinks. You doing the same, Ayabe? Nah. <laughs> Old me? I don't play hooky. Well, we should be on our way. Hey, let me ask before you go. The Okubo case. You let that murderer get off scot-free. After which he burned his poor girlfriend to death. And yet, here we are with another murderer roaming the streets of this city. I wonder who the next victim will be. You consider that. Yagami Sensei. Oh, yeah. He's the mole. I mean, he's got his pet gorilla with him. You good, Talk? Yeah, I'm used to dealing with assholes like that. What was Kuroiwa doing there anyway? I bet he knows about Ayabi's little side gig. Probably came to keep him from chirping too much. Right. Or maybe he wanted to keep an eye on us. Hope not. I don't need that guy breathing down our necks. Anyway, you want to head home? Not yet. Something's bugging me about the Kyore clan. What do you mean? Until well, today, I just thought they were here scouting out some new turf in Kamurocho. But it turns out they've got a construction conglomerate behind them, and they're involved in redevelopment, too. 
So you want to figure out who the real kill ray is? Not a bad idea. But how are we going to investigate? You don't remember? We have a friend on the inside. <laughs> you mean Morase? Oh yeah. Come on, let's head to KJR. Hmm. Actually, I gotta say right quick that I've actually... Oh, I... Ah! Okay, so, I think I'm actually in Ben and rather liking the way I've been handling games this year with just doing five episodes per one game a day. But then I, if I can, I can do five episodes of another game a day. So I play both games in the same day, but still, it, it kind of feels better that way. So, I don't know, I think I'm handling them better this year. Because before, a couple of times before, I would play games, um, either day would play another game, and I used to upload them side to side. And then it went to when Cold Steel came out, I was playing an entire Cold Steel chapter, and then when I finished a Cold Steel chapter, I actually finished a Yakuza game. Or when I finished a Cold Steel chapter, I would finish a game. Hey, talk. We're getting close to KJR. And then after that, ha after that finished up, where I finished Cold Steel Four, I didn't exactly know what to do from then on. And then because of Genshin, that just whenever Genshin is needed to be done, it, it just gets done. At least that is supposed to happen, like the coming week or something. Basically, when I start uploading Genshin stuff again is when you can tell that I'm putting everything into Genshin at that time and nothing else. Hey, you want to bust out the drone? See what our old friend Murase is up to? Yeah, should be pretty easy to find him this time. <laughs> right this way. Whoops. Well, uh, he was about to push me off. I still don't think I'll even have Judgment completed by the time I get to the end of whatever game I'm going to finish after Callisto Protocol. Alright, it's spy time. Okay, I'll handle the flying. You keep watch on anyone coming in or out. So sure it's that simple though. Take another look. Morase's alone. The point being? They're coming for us right now. Hands up. Oh, shit. You know. That Matsugane guy died at our hands. Always knew we'd get some Tojo clan boys sent over here. So, you see, we've been expecting guests this whole time. Yagami-san. <laughs> ideas, Kaito-san? I, uh... You're the ideas guy, aren't you? Damn it. If you two clowns really were Tojo clan, We'd have gouged your eyes out by now. Man, this is where we need to be saved by a vigilante. Gouch your noisy, huh? No one will care about, say, a couple of gunshots up here. Whose bright idea was this? This guy. Oh, is that really how it's gonna be, Kaito-san? <laughs> and just who are you? Good question, Kaito-san. Satoshi Shilya's the name. The Kyori clan's captain, huh? Higashi mentioned him. 
Hey, get some cuffs on these fools. I've got some burning hot questions to ask them. <laughs> you ready? I think we're gonna have a little fun. That's dangerous. You think I'm messing around? They got guns. Take him out now. No. Oh no, y'all gonna Damn, that was close. You. Why? Is this really the time? Fair enough. <laughs> Come on. Let's move. Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen a Yakuza protagonist close to death. But then again, this is like Yagami's first uh, close to death situation right there. Ow, ooh, 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 don't do it now. Actually, the idea here is to do this. Stupid heat action cooldown. That was not the idea, but I guess it works. Wait a minute, I have the ultimate idea. Goodbye! Oh. I've just decided I would not take that hit. Man, are you serious? Pretty good. I like that. Can't let him hit me now. Uh oh. I said, don't let him hit me. Oh, I'm stuck in a corner. Okay, there we go. No more things to worry about. Like that tag I love those tag team heat actions. That's enough. Come on, let's roll. Yeah. No reason to stay here. We owe you one. You should come with us. Hmm. Coming? Sure. May as well. Wait. Just like that? Hold up. I'm not letting you assholes get away that easily. Yakuza don't fuck around. <laughs> you three are gone. Oh my god. as ugly as I figured you were. <laughs> what can I say? Not a good idea? Well, not like I'll get very far with it on, you know? Man, he okay. could be a host and you wouldn't know Let's it. Go. What the hell were you thinking coming here? What? You don't want us around? No. It's just, if Captain Hamara saw you here, he... How's he gonna fight? <laughs>